the carpentry competition where we have secondary students and then post-secondary students. The secondary students for this year's project are building a doghouse and the post-secondary are building a playhouse and they're going to be donated then to charity. We have a, a regional competition um, for all the high school students um, so that there's a, one competitor, the winner from the region throughout the province of BC, they come here and compete against each other. Um, for the post-secondary, they're apprentices, so they come in, the, come in the school and they also have uh, local competitions to be able to buy for their spot. We've got two students here that are secondary students out of Pointland College, I believe. We've got another student here behind me that's, I think he's a third level apprentice. He's considered to be post-secondary and they're competing. Both the post-secondary and the secondary are doing a four and a half hour project. The post-secondary is a little bit more extensive. But uh, yeah, so they've got a project to do. They're, uh, they've uh, got a plan drawing that they were supposed to follow uh, with the measurements and the dimensions and everything else. And, uh, and after four and a half hours, uh, they stop and uh, we've graded them. This competition is designed to bring uh, competitors in from all around the province. Uh, so there's uh, 11 uh, uh, secondary schools that are uh, being represented here right now. Uh, for the po post-secondary uh, competition and uh, there's 12 regions uh, for the uh, secondary students, the high school kids, uh, and they're coming from all around the province as well. A competitor will come in, we'll have an orientation. What we'll do is explain to them the rules, introduce them to the welding equipment in case they haven't had an opportunity to use the specific equipment that we're using. Uh, they will look at the drawings, they have a chance to interpret the drawings, ask any questions, we'll answer what we can, they're expected to uh, be able to interpret them on their own. Uh, once that's done, they're given the materials uh, and they uh, assemble the project according to the drawing. Some marks are being judged on uh, whether they're wearing their safety glasses and, and safety gear. Uh, they'll be uh, judged on the accuracy of, uh, um, of the final project, whether it meets the uh, requirements of the drawing. And, uh, and then they'll be looking at whether or not uh, the welds are acceptable to industry standards. Um, and also uh, whether they can interpret the drawing and make sure that the welds are uh, placed in the right location. They have six hours of, of actual working time. At the end of the day, tie would go to the faster time, but we're looking for quality, we're looking for workmanship, we're looking definitely for safety, housekeeping, how well they maintain their site. Everything is built to code as well. It's meant to promote our programs for one side of things, but really it's about the students and that they are getting an experience here, right? It's a, a friendly competition, but they take it pretty seriously. If you look around, you'll see a lot of sweating happening. 100% of the uh, competitors that win gold medals go on and they become part of the uh, BC uh, um, cohort. It ends up going to the national competition and, and they compete at the national level in both secondary and also post-secondary uh, and will compete at the province that's hosting the event.